you angrier than a person who gets chance after chance and still manages to kill somebody with a DUI. It's just one of the most frustrating things, especially in the biker world. Well, a couple of days ago, a young lady got to hear her sentence for a crash that took two years to come to resolution. Go ahead and roll that tape. It's a story you're only going to see here on Fox 61, a family finally finding closure following an emotional two-and-a-half-year journey for justice. This young woman, Aislinn Kern, was killed in a motorcycle wreck back in 2016. The driver of the car that hit her, convicted in the deadly DUI crash, learned her sentence. Fox 61's Matt Karen was inside the courtroom where Aislinn's family gave emotional testimony about their loss. Matt. Well, I'll tell you what, not many dry eyes here inside Torrington Superior Court as the family of Aislinn Kern and a brotherhood of bikers stood up and spoke out on behalf of a life taken too soon. I no longer have new pictures. I no longer hear her call me mama. This is Aislinn Kern, her smile larger than life. She was a photographer, a writer, a reader, a mother. She took Bella to horseback riding. A wife sister, daughter, friend, and mom. Her day began and ended with her kids in mind. She loved her family and the wind in her face. A motorcycle rider with her husband, Eddie. October 23rd, 2016, the day that changed everything, now memorialized in a patch affixed to the vests of the Brotherhood of United Bikers. It was the day Elizabeth Waterbury got in her car, impaired by a concoction of drugs and alcohol, and crashed into the biker group on Route 63 in the Goshen section of Litchfield, killing Aislinn and seriously injuring five others, including Dan DiPaolo, who lost a leg and gained a tattoo. I'm just happy to have a little bit of closure. Now, more than two years removed, but it doesn't feel that way. I remember October 23rd, 2016, just like it was yesterday. The mangled medal of the day replaced with a memorial cross. As for Dan, he's still riding. I think it's something inside of you. You either curl up in a ball and give up, or you don't. Do you yeah, forgive okay. her? Forgive? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to forget. Inside the courtroom, emotional victim impact statements. Aislinn's mom, Donna. Strangers coming to help me as I collapsed on the floor. The heartache of not getting to her in time to kiss her, to tell her how much I love her, and to say goodbye. Elizabeth Waterbury was sentenced to nine years in prison. Your license to operate a motor vehicle is permanently suspended. Too late to save Aislinn's life. Waterbury had two previous DUIs. We continued to let her do the same thing and to drink and to drive. And it just was like, how many chances do you get? And the judge gave Waterbury the chance to speak to the victims. She declined. And even though Waterbury was sentenced to nine years in prison, she was also given credit for time served, which means she will likely spend only six years or less in prison. Reporting live in Torrington, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. Matt, thank you. For like I say, it just makes you so angry. Some poor guy lost his leg. Um, someone was killed. It's just, uh, it's just crazy. And to think that person had a DUI before... DUIs kill people, and I, I don't understand why people still get behind the wheel of a car and drive drunk. And a motorcyclist's worst nightmare, one of the, some of the worst nightmares you can have, one, something being left in the road by some silly person that can't tie something down uh, uh, on the car or in the, in the truck bed long enough to get it home. It's, you're, you're rolling down the road at 90 miles an hour, and there's a chair in the middle of the road. That will take you out. The other thing, somebody talking on a cell phone and not paying attention or eating or chewing or arguing, those things will take bikers out. But probably the worst is that person that drinks and drives, and we have absolutely zero chance whatsoever when it comes to a biker versus some kind of steel machine, two-ton, three-ton car or some sort of vehicle like that. And so, you know, a story like this just infuriates me. And... Um, Nine years is a long time uh, to, to serve, but uh, when you crawl behind the wheel of a car, drunk, 
Uh, then it's like taking a loaded gun, closing your eyes and pulling the trigger. You might not hit anything, but then there are some chances that you may. And I suppose you should be ready to pay the consequences if that should occur. Well, let me know what you think of that story, bikers. Leave a comment down, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. You can uh, read more about this story at bikerliberty.com, the Black Dragon Biker News Network. Biker News, you can trust. That's my two cents. Thanks for tuning in, and get skinny.